What's up YouTube, this is Prince of ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to activate and jailbreak your iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS running on 6.1.3. So the things you're going to need for this is Red Snow, a copy of Red Snow which is right here, and a copy of the 6.0 firmware, not the 6.1.3, 6.0, because we're going to trick on Red Snow than thinking we're on 6.0 even though the phone is on 6.1.3. So if you want to activate, First thing you're going to do is take out your SIM. No SIM card if you want to activate your iPhone 4 or your iPhone 3GS. And if you want to jailbreak, just go through the same steps. If you if you only want to jailbreak, you don't have to um, take your SIM card out. But if you want to activate while jailbreaking, you're going to have to take your SIM card out. So, okay, let's go. So first, we're going to open up Red Snow. And a link to Retinos in the description and also a link to the to where you can find a copy of the 6.0 firmware. So first we want to go to extras, then we want to go to select IPSW. I want to select the 6.0 firmware. I have mine saved to my desktop. Where is it at? Where is it at? Right here. Get open. Set the follow on blah blah blah. Identify that's it okay. You want to hit back and you want to hit jailbreak. And guys, this is only for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS again. And this is a tethered jailbreak. So if you're on 6.1.3 on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, you could do this. If you're on 6.1.2, don't even update to 6.1.3. Just I have an annotation somewhere like right here on the video and you could click on that and it will take it to 6.1.2 jailbreak. So I want to install Cydia, I want to hit next. I want to put our phone in DFU mode so it's going to be power and home for 10 seconds and then release the power button keep holding on to the home button for another 10 seconds until Red Snow recognizes the device. So here we go, power and home for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button. Keep holding on to the home button until Red Snow recognizes the device. There you go. And guys, this will jailbreak and activate your iPhone 4 and your iPhone 3GS on 6.1.3. So the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, will this will not work. And again guys, you want to select the 6.0 firmware, not the 6.1.3. And I'll come back after this process is done. Okay guys, now that process is done, so we're just going to wait for the phone to, to boot up. Slide to unlock and click continue. Next. And as you can see, we bypassed the whole activation screen. So when I first started, it was stuck on the activation screen. And now I just bypassed that whole screen. And there you go. We activated on iOS 6.1.3. Let me fix the brightness real quick. And there you go guys, 6.1.3. And I'm, if you want to jailbreak, and if you only want to activate, that's how you do it. If you don't want Cydia, but if you want Cydia, this is how you do it. You're going to go back in the red snow. Let me clear that up a little bit. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select IPSW again. So the 6.0 firmware. Open. Hit OK. Then you want to hit Just Boot right up top. Let just boot and then we're going to put our device in DFU mode again. So it's going to be power and home for 10 and then release the power. Keep holding on to the home button for another 10. So here we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button, keep holding on to the home button until Redstone recognizes our device. So there you go. Just gonna sit back and let Redstone do its thing. That's the pineapple. That's when you know it's just it's just booting correctly. You see that pineapple, and I come back after it's booted up, and I'm back on the lock screen, on the home screen with Cydia. Okay, guys, now that it's done, just booting. Let's slide to unlock, and there it is, Cydia, on my um, home screen. So I don't have Wi-Fi right now, so basically it won't load. It's unable to load because I don't have Wi-Fi right now. My Wi-Fi router broke, so yeah, that's how you do it, guys. If you had Wi-Fi, it would have it, <laughs> it would have loaded up properly. So that's how you do it if you want to jailbreak. If you don't, if you only want to activate, just you don't have to do the just boot process. I mean, to add Cydia, but yeah, that's how it's done. And if you guys want to learn how to um get a semi on Tether, where you could. Like if you if I turn my phone off right now, it will shut down and I wouldn't be able to use it until I hook this back up to my computer and do the just boot process all over again because this is a tether jailbreak. If you want to learn how to get a semi on tether where you could open it up and use phone, but you can't use all your application, but you can call people and tell them blah 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 just in case you're in an emergency. I will make a separate video for that because this video is getting too long. But yeah, that's how you get it, guys. That's how you jailbreak and activate your iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS on 6.1.3. It's Prince with ATP 101. Thanks for watching.